So in this video, I'm going to be talking about young people thinking they too young to get married. And before I get started, I have a lot of request videos for you guys. I'm just trying to find a, get the time to do them. But anyway, let's get on this topic. So, um, one of my good friends was talking that they heard on the radio saying that people in it, when they 20 or 18 or 22 or 23, it's too young to get married. For many, for many different reasons that people perceive that it's a problem. Like, you don't know yourself. You don't know what you're going to do with your life. Um, stuff like that. They, most of the time they say you don't know yourself. You know, you might change as a person when you uh, get 28 or 25. And uh, I have to say that that's a, another lie from the devil. And um, let's break it down a, a little bit. And that's why you have people with a whole bunch of transmitted diseases because they're sleeping around because they figure, hey, I'm 20, I'm in my 20, I'm 18. I don't need to get married. You know, I want to live my life to the fullest. Now, when you have many young adults thinking that type of way now you have a now you have a problem and that's why you have people with so many sorrows at a young age and done many things that they wish they never done and then because you heal from those problems you know you still have those scars on your on your heart on your mind on your consciousness so later in life you find so many people that's messed up mentally in their heart and their mind can't trust can't love you know what I'm saying got so many uh mental issues a whole lot of stuff you know what I'm saying where they feel like they not ready or they can't settle down or love somebody so they live that yolo life where they just sleep around have a little boy toy girl toy for nearly the rest of their lives and you have to be mindful of what the devil is doing, you know, to your soul. Because when he gets you into that mind state, he got you where he wants you. Because your soul in captivity, because the longest there is sexual sin, your soul in captivity. So a lot of you who, who watch this, or some people may find this a very offensive or get angry, but it's the, uh, it's the truth. You know, uh, so you can't be mad, you know, if you live your life doing sexual sin and you don't make it to heaven. You know what I'm saying? You sit in the judgment seat before Christ and um, you don't, you, you won't have no words to say because you lived your whole life in sexual sin because you listening to the world. The Bible did not say that you too young to not to get married. How in God honor is marriage? What God put the put together, it can He don't want it to be broken. So, are you believing man wisdom, man words, or you believe in God's words? Because the scripture in the Bible, when a young man said, "Hey," he was like, "Lord, I'm too young to uh, go out and preach for you to spread the message." And the Lord said, "Don't never say you too young, for I will guide you. I will tell you what you need, and you you will speak my word." See, the mind state of people like, oh, I'm too young. I don't have enough experience. You know what I'm saying? I haven't lived long enough. That's a deception for the devil. Because how many of you know uh, uh, a lot more than your parents? And they lived on earth longer than you. How many of you? Probably all of you. You know, whether if you're 40 or you uh, in your 20s or 30s, it doesn't matter. But because everybody doesn't know everything. So therefore, you have an advantage over somebody that, that you know something that somebody else don't know. 
You know, it don't matter if somebody lived 80 years or 100 years more than you. They do not, they do not know everything. So another reason also, that's why you have a lot of single mothers and uh, a lot of single dads because you get into relationships and don't want to marry them. You know, you're doing it for the feeling and the sex and the temporary and it's temporary for the moment. And when you do things for the moment, it's going to last for the moment. But you got to uh, suffer the consequences. You know what I'm saying? So... The man, man and women laying down with each other and having babies, and they don't want to marry them. They don't want no family. They don't look forward to taking care of the kids because they got selfishness problems and so forth and so on. So for them saying that, it's causing more young people to have kids and walking away out of relationship because people don't want to feel trapped. A marriage is not, so, not supposed to make you feel trapped. It's a commitment, but one even... Um, one one another and two become one and also it pleases God and it's saving your soul from going to eternal hell that's what it's meant for just to please God we've been put on this earth to please God nobody else and until people get that in their head they're going to continue to fall and fall right and down to the lake of fire see so people think people are so sucked into the world and life people ain't thinking about that People, people always talk about, hey, I can't wait till I live till I'm 50. I'm going to be a grandma. I'm going to be acting like this. I can't wait till I'm 30. I'm going to be having this and this. And people don't never think about when is your time to die. People die every single day at different ages. You do not know when is your turn. In the blink of an eye, your life could be taken away. In the blink of an eye. You know, but, people, but, they, the, but the radio and the TV got people mind programmed in a certain way of thinking I'm too young, I'm live an old life. How many people think they're gonna live old or in their 20s or 30s and they end up dead? Whether shooting, natural causes, of diseases, accidents, uh, life problems, so forth and so on. You've been, de people been, de um, been deceived by the devil. So, you never too young to get married. If you wanna get married when you 20 or you 21 or you 24, Go right ahead. That's why you pray about it and count on God to help you understand and pick the person for you. Don't marry somebody when you already know they're playing games, when they're a cheater, when they're when they an obsessive liar or a manipulator or just an evil person in general. You know right from wrong. You know, if you stop acting dumb, people stop acting dumb, you will know who to pick. Now, if you got a good person in your life that's cool, always there, consistently um, giving you things, taking care of you, asking how you doing, saying I love you, that's the person you want in your life. It don't matter if you feel like you're going to change when you're 28. That person is a good person. If people act like uh, good people um, on tr comes on grows on trees. Look, I have only, only real one good friend. How many of you got one or two good friends you've been knowing for the longest? You know, for years. <clears throat> and um, you haven't met nobody else. <coughs> you haven't met any good friends since then. How many of you got one good friend? And you met a whole bunch of cool people. You know, down to earth people, but they never stuck in your life. They never stayed around. You know what I'm saying? But... The friends that you have always stayed around. See, that's what I'm saying. Good friends do not come off. And that's why you got people that's a loner, that don't like, women don't like uh, female friends, and men don't like uh, male friends. I'm telling you, people acting like uh, good people come around all the time. So listen, when you got a good person in your life, you want to keep them around. You want them to stay in your life. Because that's the person you can depend on for help. You know, mentor, tutor, um, anything, anything. You know, whatever they uh, ability may be to help you. Don't kick that good person out of your life. And a lot of people doing that because they going to evil ways. They going searching after the world, and they end up kicking the kicking the they loved ones out their life. The one that will bail them out of jail. The one that will uh, get a right arm for them and stuff. They they pushing those people away 
and bringing in evil people that's gonna that's gonna ditch you. Like I don't know how many times I grew up and like, seen on TV where you know people say, "Oh, you my friend, you my best friend, we ride or die." And to to some somebody get in trouble, they always running, they ditching, they not they not there to pick up the phone call. It happens all the time. So you know, I'm getting I'm, see. I'm getting persecuted in my life and pick and pick and tortured by the devil because I'm giving you guys information and I'm helping people. You know, when I'm off camera, I deal with a lot of spiritual activities going on and I gotta pray constantly, every single day, all day. You know what I'm saying? My life is not peaches and cream. You know what I'm saying? And uh, stop believing when people's. Um, Stop believing these demons and devils on TV because that's why the young generations are messed up. And then when the new generations grow up and grow up, they're gonna have that same mindset of, oh, we're not supposed to get married when we in our 20s. We're supposed to get married when we have a career. We're supposed to get married when we have when we have uh you know a certain type of money and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot of the problems um is about you know people say oh i'm not ready to have kids yeah you may not ready to have kids because you don't have the funds to take care of you yourself and a child that's understandable you know what i'm saying when people say oh, i'm not meant to be ready you know take your time and have the lord guide you you still got a childish mind state what i mean by a childish mind state where you still thinking about sin you still want to do sin. You still want to steal. You still want to kill. You still want to do all these things. So all those sins make you not prepared to have a wife and a husband and, and having uh, children. That's the, that's, the, that's the only conclusion. That's the only reason why you're not mentally ready. You know what I'm saying? If you was in your word every day and counting on the Lord for your wisdom, the fear of the Lord is, is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Because when you fear him, you got wisdom and knowledge just at the snap of a finger because you're like, nah, the Lord want me to get married. He don't want me to go out and uh, have sex with different people. You know what I'm saying? To be on drugs, you know, to scam people. So there you got it. You got, you got the wisdom right there. So now you're headed on the right path because your mind state is clear. You're thinking straightly. You're thinking, hey, I gotta get married before I have sex. Oh, I gotta have I gotta stop having sex with the person and get right with the Lord and marry that person, then have sex. See, you going on the right path right there. Easy and simple right there. I just I just gave you guys. I just gave y'all guys the answer. But yeah. So I'm gonna end this video. It's supposed to be a quick video, but but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Until then you see me next time.